Lance on the left side. Harden just crossed over Wes Johnson. Wow. Let's take a look. Will James Harden ever win a ring? Basketball was, is, and always will be a team game. While the sport is about getting all five members on the floor involved both offensively and defensively, a certain Houston Rocket player begs to differ. In this video, let's zoom in at James Harden and find out if his style of playing will ever get him a ring. James Harden is probably the most gifted offensive player in the game today. He puts his defenders in spin cycles and makes the most difficult step back jumpers look ridiculously easy. However, all this comes at the cost of one thing team chemistry. There's no doubt about the fact that if a team wants to win in the regular season, the playoffs and eventually the championship, there needs to be healthy team chemistry. The style that Harden plays with does not help build that chemistry in any way. The 2012 NBA playoffs served as a launch pad for Harden's current stardom. He scored 16.3 points per game off the bench and shot 41.0% from the three-point line, according to the trusted basketball reference. It was Harden's best series when the Thunder defeated the San Antonio Spurs in six games during the Western Conference Finals while Game 2 of that series was arguably his top performance as he scored 30 points, grabbed 7 rebounds, and dished 4 assists. Unfortunately, the Thunder would then lose the NBA Finals in 5 games to the Miami Heat with Harden's best performances coming in Game 2 and Game 5. He scored 21 points and shot 7 of 11 from the field in Game 2. In the final game of the series, he poured in 19 points, dished 5 assists, and shot 3 of 8 from deep. The NBA star has been a household name for nearly a decade, truly entering the limelight after winning the 6th Man of the Year award in 2011-2012. His third season in the NBA marked the Thunder's lone finals appearance in franchise history, and coincidentally, the closest Harden has ever come to the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Though the Thunder were on their way to more success, the trio of Harden, Westbrook, and Durant were broken up in October 2012. Harden was then shipped to Houston four months after the finals, and despite eight straight playoff appearances, Harden enters the postseason seeking his first championship as a leading man. In 2018, the Houston Rockets won 65 games in the regular season, with a league-best plus 8.5 net rating, and only lost two games in the first two rounds of the playoffs. They are 50-5 and five in that season, including the postseason when James Harden, Chris Paul, and Clint Capella have been healthy. They have had the home court advantage when the Western Conference Finals started. In an ordinary season, a team like this would be seen as the favorites to win the NBA title. This, however, is not an ordinary season. The mere existence of the Golden State Warriors means that to even have a chance at championship contention, you must also be impossible to stop and almost impossible to exploit. Houston Rockets came within one win of the NBA Finals and were expected to have another deep playoff run that postseason. However, things didn't exactly pan out that way as the Rockets were eliminated by the Golden State Warriors in Game 6 of the Western Conference Semifinals. According to Shams Cherania of The Athletic, James Harden and Chris Paul got into a verbal altercation late in Game 6 and the tension spilled over into the locker room. In the 2020 playoffs, the Houston Rockets and James Harden have once again come up short in their quest for the NBA championship. The Houston Rockets went all in this offseason when they pulled the trigger on a deal for Russell Westbrook to be James Harden's second in command. His addition, sadly, was not enough to change the Rockets' fortune, and the season ended with a familiar whimper as the Lakers easily won four in a row to send the Rockets home. James Harden is already arguably one of the greatest players and scorers of his generation. He is one of the six players in NBA history to lead the league in win shares in five separate seasons. Those other five guys are LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, and Neil Johnston. Also, Harden leads the NBA in scoring by a wide margin at 38.2 points per game and appears to be interested in beating Michael Jordan's modern scoring record of 37.1 that MJ notched during the 1986-1987 season for a 40-42 Chicago Bulls team during his third year as a pro. He could very well retire in the top five of the all-time scoring list. His legacy as an all-time great is secured even without a ring, but even one championship could make him a top 20 player in NBA history. However, Harden often plays iso ball, and that really affects the team. He throws up contested and unnecessary shots, take for example the 50-point game he had against the San Antonio Spurs during the 2020 season. 
If he is double teamed, then he has to pass the ball up in a situation where a lot of time has already been taken off the shot clock, and the player who receives the ball is under tremendous pressure to make the shot in the little time that he gets. A great shooter or any player for that matter knows the importance of getting into a rhythm and that is difficult to achieve when you play with a player like James Harden. Basketball late legend Kobe Bryant, RIP Kobe, has criticized Harden's playing style in the past, saying Harden's ball-dominant style, while impressive and perhaps even necessary, will not help the Rockets win an NBA title. Hall of Famer Charles Barkley, too, condemned Harden's style of play recently by saying that if he were on the floor with James Harden, he would definitely get frustrated at watching Harden doing his thing while standing in one corner, just waiting for the ball that would rarely come to him. Barkley also went to the extent of saying that he would have requested a trade with the team management. James Harden can drop 50 points on any given night and can score tough shots over the game's greatest defenders and take home scoring including MVP honors. But the bigger question that matters the most is can he win a championship ring? To be truly successful and win that coveted NBA championship, Harden will have to start trusting his teammates a lot more and create a system like the one the Golden State Warriors adopted during their historic 2015-2019 run. It does not make matters any better knowing that he has one of the league's worst shooters in the 2020 season, Russell Westbrook, as his teammate. Harden will definitely go down in history as one of the greatest to ever play the game, but he will never win a championship with his current style of play. He will most definitely have to tweak his game and make adjustments in a manner that benefits the team and his legacy to ever win a ring for his career. Make sure to keep posted with our videos to keep yourselves updated with your favorite star's whereabouts. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more.